before we get started. What did you just say? Oh, okay. To my show, it's your girl, Dog, Dog, Demira, whatever you want to call her. And today we're back with a little cute hygiene video. We all know it's summertime, summertime coming up. I'm not even gonna go into too much, do too much rambling. But if you're new, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you're old, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, mwah, I love you. So let's just jump right into it. So I separated this video into four different sections. In shower, out shower, day to day, and on your period. So I'm pretty sure I'll have the timestamps in the description bar or I'll put them somewhere right here or right here. Just so if you want to jump to a specific area, you can do so. All right, now let's get into it. and shower routine and i just want to make a little bit of a disclaimer i'm not telling you what to do how to live your life but i am going to link everything down in the description bar below if it doesn't have a link that means just check your local store majority of the things that i have in this video is going to be in the description bar for your access and you know we balling on the budget babe so don't do that as far as towels go i use microfiber towels they come in a five pack from dollar tree i get the white ones they have black they have a multitude of other colors but i only get the white see the feel gentle real gentle been using her since high school this thing is a two pack african net sponge from amazon um self-explanatory self-explanatory i'll go into a little bit into detail like later on in this segment of the in shower part my dry brush and it comes like you know like this and i just woo, 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 woo. do my little big one as far as like body for just solely solely cleansing like solely to cleanse not to smell good not to anything else just to actually cleanse the skin i have three different types of bars listed so the first two are from the same brand which is dr bronner's so the peppermint and the baby unscented are the only ones of dr bronner i use not the purple not the orange not the pink not, not the green none of that other stuff um you don't have to dilute these baby when i tell you as a ex dove so girly this stuff lathers like no other this and this in the shower you're getting soap suds like a car wash i kid you not i'm telling you they're thick um baby if i ain't convinced you well i don't know who will for my third soap this is optional this is detail soap now this right here i don't use this as often in the shower because it is stripping and like drying but i kid you not i set this in my tub water like when i was soaking hi guys it's editing doll i just came on here to say that i do recommend taking a sit down bath every other week or twice a month bye I'm trying to create like some bubbles or something it didn't create no bubbles for real for real but baby when i got up at that tub and i saw that water i was like my lord for my intimate area, I've been told different things by my gynecologist and my esthetician. My esthetician did not recommend Dove. If you go to an esthetician, you would understand. Dove ain't never really did nothing to me chemically wise, like for throw off my pH. So, I mean, if it works for you, it works for you. I'm not knocking you, but don't knock me until you try what I got going on over here. My esthetician recommended is Jason's Unscented. Stand by this to be honest. Does it lather good though? Not to me. Like I live for a lather. If I ever run out of this one, which this is my other one. So this is VH Essentials Fragrance Free Daily Feminine Wash. This is the unscented kind. So both of these are unscented. They have two versions of these, and one is going to be a white label. I may put the picture right there. Like, you can just read the reviews on it. I'm not going to go into detail about my experience. You can read the reviews on these products, and then you'll be like, oh, okay. But if I'm using it, I'm not lying to you. Like, 
cut the summer's eve out cut the dove scented like if you're putting scented dove scented bath and body work scented anything down there that's you like i don't know because if you're not have if you don't have any problems that's that's fine that's you in my personal opinion if i had some mango dove if i had that that's technically to me not doing the same things not 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 in my world so yeah you have a cleanser and you have a smell good speaking of scented body washes there's only one brand that i recommend and that is uh bath and body works this specific kind only though not that gel stuff with the flip top and you gotta press it down not that one this one not as far as the the smell this is gingham by the way though it's creamy and it actually like oh lord it's so velvety you know what I'm saying? It's, it's real, real, real velvety, and I like it, and I love it, and it's mwah, my girl. Last two things that I have. Now, when I do shave, I only shave my underarms and my legs. As far as my intimate area, I actually go and get waxed. Holy Grail right here. So, this is Big Soleil Escape 5 Blade Razor. Okay, it comes in a two-pack. I don't know how much it is. Like I said, the link is down below. I've been using this EOS since high school. Some of the girls may just not be getting on it, and that's fine. But this, I didn't try the baby oil. I didn't try the condition. I didn't try this. I didn't try that. There is nothing that will touch this with a 10-foot totem pole. There is nothing that will touch this product. I don't care. Like... You can convince me otherwise. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. But this gives me the closest shave ever. Now, as far as how I do everything, I'm going to keep this short and sweet and to the point. Step one, I wash my face. I call it acid or water. Rub it in. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. And I face wash. See 5, 10, 15 minutes just so it can deeply penetrate. I turn on that shower. I'm hopping in that shower. I'm getting, I'm, I'm turning like a rotisserie chicken. Just, I take my African net sponge and either the doctor, either one of the Dr. Browners and my detail soap. When you combine these three, you're going to have so much soap. First of all, this is exfoliating. So if you're using tree hut or anything like that this is a sub aside from you using it with these two soap bars guess what you can use it with your moisture you didn't count you didn't count on child okay so but no for real i do these three okay and i rinse this off real good and hang it up and then i only take this one so i'm dropping those two and i take these two and i do it all over again I do not wash that poom poom with this soap. Then I take these microfiber top, y'all. Walmart has them too, but the, the thread count on these. It's something about the thread count. Like, I wish I could demonstrate for y'all. And I may do like a, a full-blown night, night routine to actually show y'all, but no, for real. Take this, and I take this because this is what I'm using right now. Let me Let me clear it up for you. My BH Essentials. I scrub at least 20 to 30 seconds. Like, you should feel a little friction from the amount of times that you go in there. Like, everywhere. Here, here, here. Like, you should feel a little bit of friction. You know what I'm saying? Done. I don't often, like, uh, use my scented washes, like, my Bath and Body Works or whatnot. I don't often do that. But when I do... I use this to apply it. And this is basically, this is exfoliating too. So if you have strawberry legs, if you, if somebody is telling you to um, make sure you're exfoliating, exfoliating doesn't have to just be a scrub. Like, get out of that. Like, I don't know if it's because I've been dealing, I've been messing with scrubs. I've been so self-care by myself since high school. So I'm just kind of grown out of that. Like, I, I gave all my scrubs to my mama. I'm out of that now. I'm out of it. But y'all yeah, know, this does the same thing. And you do those circular motions. I, I don't have strawberry legs anymore. So if you have those little bitty pins, those little dark pins on your legs, you have strawberry legs. And you need to make sure you exfoliate it and removing that dead skin off of the surface. As far as shaving goes, I hope y'all know how to shave. 
I hope y'all know how to shave. I hope that you're pulling your skin tight. Like, even if you're doing your armpit, I hope you're pulling your skin tight. Because, yeah. And I hope you're not shaving in 15, 20 different directions. Because that's not how your hair grows. And that's how you get ingrowns. And that's how you get bumps. And <laughs> Honestly, mess yourself up. So just be mindful of how you're shaving and which direction you're shaving. Because, no. Or just honestly get waxed. I recommend getting waxed. I've been getting waxed since, shoot, for like two, three years now. And I barely get any hair back. So if I ain't convinced you to start getting waxed, then I don't know. Now, let's move out of shower. to part two the outer shower portion so this is like what i do or what i use immediately after getting out of the shower first things first moisturizing is very very important especially if you're using a actual cleanser to cleanse the skin and remove all dirt and oils so i usually typically go in with either palmer's cocoa butter or vaseline or i combine the two um it really doesn't matter just as long as you're using something that's your most comfortable as far as my face goes um i typically will use this but if i'm in a rush or if this is out of reach oh by the way this is the cerave healing ointment this is kind of pricey though can't lie that's why it's kind of like gone and thin because i've had it for a minute but i typically use this and like spot it on my face and like i'll just go to sleep like i won't even just worry about nothing else like that. um as far as the down there region this is my holy grail let me get her up close for you guys this is the pfb vanish slash chroma bright well with chroma bright i'm sorry this is POB Vanish with Chroma Bright, and honestly, um, it's skin brightening, ingrown hair relief, waxing and razor bumps, um, and it's for men and women. So, guys, if you're watching this and you're like, yeah, you know, they do have different versions of this. This is another pricey item, um, but yeah, I, I definitely recommend um, investing into something like this use bio oil i use bio oil um on my face and just a little bit on my like stretch marks and my down there region but this this actually does work a tad bit i mean it smells good but um yes this does um somewhat work i haven't used it for that long i probably had it for about two two and a half weeks i'm sorry if i'm rubbing my eyes y'all i'm a little tired as far as smell goods go, I'm not going to go through every single last one of my perfumes and when I wear them and how I wear them and what I wear them for, all that jazz. But I'm going to just name my two favorites at the moment is the Rio de Janeiro 62 Brazilian Crush and then this is Pink Sugar. I had this in a, I think, what is it called? Odor toilet. Yeah, I had a I had this on Odor toilet, but I ran out, so I just got the spray. But these are this smells just like summer and just like so good. And this is like fruity, strawberry, cupcakes. Like this smells really really good. So if you're in the market for like a smell good, or if you need to buy a friend or family member a gift. These, I also have the Bum Bum Cream that goes with this. I rarely use this, only just for special occasions, you know, every once in a while. The only deodorant I use, I do have stick deodorant, but this is the specific dove that I use. Once with the crystals, this one is called Clear Minerals. So either the Clear Minerals or the Coconut. Promise you, it smells so, 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 so good. I believe that is all for the out of shower yeah that's it moving on to the day today my aura b electric two bristle soft bristle it's electric it has an automatic two minute timer on it and i pair it with sensodyne pronamble alpine breeze gentle whitening toothpaste 
really really good don't use fair breath invigorating icy mint time to time i do coconut oil pulling and that's just basically popping in some coconut oil swishing it around like some mouthwash you can swallow the coconut oil it does have benefits like these <coughs> don't be afraid just don't swallow a whole jar like just be reasonable with yourself like be for real right now and i do use a peri bottle i don't have it on me if you don't know what a peri bottle is here's a picture of it you know go to the bathroom i don't carry it with me everywhere duh but when i'm at home and i'm able to do it or i stay tonight somewhere and i'm able to do it i'm gonna take it put only water in there you could put like some lukewarm water if you wanted to i put some water in there I use the restroom. I squirt it on my kuku like a bidet. Cause it's I mean that's basically what it is. Like a bidet. You know, get it all rinsed off and then pat my kuku to dry with some tissue. As far as wipes go, these are my main ones. Like these are the ones on the back of my toilet. It's the Equate brand, fragrance refillable. Okay, you can use these on your menstrual, and I'll get into that in a moment. But you can use these on your menstrual if you, you know, do the second thing. You can clean up behind that. If you've had a sweaty day, you can clean up behind that. Just when need be. I also have these. I'm actually running low, but these are the wipe your tush. And these can be used for, you know, on-the-go travel, especially when you're on your menstrual. Really, really good. Versus taking this whole pack and trying to carry this whole pack of wipes. Um, these are very, very slim, and it's a pretty big wipe in here. So if you're on the market for it to go wipe, these are it, and they're super duper soft. So the fourth and final segment, which is the on your period segment. Ladies, come a little closer. It's our personal time to now everybody knows that time of the month so just gonna give y'all some tips and tricks and just let y'all know what i use when it's that time it's hazel wipes these are so versatile i use them on my face on my back end on my front end these are safe to go anywhere do not be afraid of these if you're afraid Look up the reviews. These they just give you just a clean, crisp, put together feel. I promise. As I stated before, the brand <clears throat> Wipe That Tush does have um, the miniature ones as well as just the regular sized ones. So if you're afraid of the witch hazel or you're not too fond of it or you're just in the market, whatever, super duper soft super moistening my babies as far as the handling of you know sanitary during that time of the month i use pads and i use the always size two pads now i'm pretty sure if you don't know there are different size pads but i use pads with wings and i'm going to demonstrate what i do with my pad when I'm on my menstrual. Now what we have here. So we have the wrapper, which is this big thing here. And then we have this strip. Most people just take this, ball it up, and throw it away. Okay, say for instance, if you have a pad on right now, like, and you need to go change, don't throw this away. You roll your pad up, okay, you roll it up, and then you take this little strip here and you wrap it around that and it keeps it keeps the adhesion to this. I'm gonna show y'all in a minute. But for now, I just remove it. And you know, you, you put your wings. Wings are better. If you're not a wing girly, you need to hop on. And I take some coconut oil. And I know you like, oh bitch. <laughs> What you doing? Who told you to do? Girl, listen to me now. I do not take the whole damn jar. Y'all see how much I got. 
and I just apply it you know all over the area it's, it, it didn't absorb it at this point it didn't absorb it and it oh it's so it feels so like it just especially after a hot shower it just makes the world of a difference but so let's just say that this is used i'm going to show y'all how to or demonstrate how to properly discard of a pad because i know that it can kind of get confusing sometimes or mom aunt grandma you know parent legal guardian did not teach you otherwise so just say let's just remove this just say you've had this on you want to roll your pad i know it's not going to be like this because it's going to be a little bit more heavy but you're 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 understanding you're just gonna fold, 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 fold. And tell me you love me for wasting one of my pads. Thank you. And I, I tend to, these were the wings right here. I tend to fold them back or forward, however you're feeling. It really is it's not that serious. Do you see how compact that was? You see how it went from basically this size to this size? Okay, and some people would just probably just throw this away. Don't do that. Don't don't do that. Seriously. Or 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 which is which is semi better, you would just wrap it around this. Some people don't even wrap the pad up. <clears throat> like I said, that little that little paper that everybody just the trashes. Let me show you. Let me show you how this works. You see, sticky. You hear that? Take it. It may not be as sticky now because I didn't had coconut oil on my finger. I take it and I wrap it around. It's locked and sealed now. Then you take the wrapper. And you wrap accordingly. You just wrap and wrap and wrap. But you're still not done. If this was a used sanitary napkin, this would be much bigger than this. You're going to take some tissue. Okay, because you have to, ladies, you have to be discreet. Like, yes, we know you're a woman. Yes, we know you in womanhood. But if... Like, nobody should actually know. Like, if I pulled up to your house and I'm like, hey, friend, you know, let's, like, even if we're friends, even if we're cool, I should not see a pad just wide open. A sanitary neck can, tampon, whatever. I should not see that wide open in the trash can like that. Take some paper, some tissue, and wrap it this way. You can do it this way as well, but since we already have this way wrapped, we're just trying to cover up these ends. And wrap it this way. And shoot, at that point, it's ready to discard, and you're good. Okay, so just try your best to be discreet about everything and just put things away neatly because nobody should know that it's your time of the month. It's just about cleanliness, and cleanliness is next to godliness. Amen? Amen. That really completes this episode of my show. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If it was kind of vague, I sincerely apologize. I did my best. Um, but I definitely will in the future actually do a nighttime video routine and a skincare video routine. This video was just showing you all what I use currently. A year from now, some months from now, this may this list may change. And if it does, if I feel need be, I will record another video with better demonstrations and more in-depth details about the products. But as always, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Mm -hmm.